Hi, this is Nick George with Clouds Diamond Sharpening. Just to show you a demonstration on why your clipper, uh, hair clipper, gets hot. Um, there's a few different things. We're gonna go through different motors and just uh, show you why they get hot. All right, here's a variety of motors. Uh, this is DC. Um, the reason we can tell there's no fans. So what that means is no uh, power goes through the wires in the the field like an oster. Here's an oster. See, the power goes through these coils and creates a field. This is just a magnet. See? So it's DC power. This is AC. Uh, the reason I know is because it's fan cooled. It has no PC board to convert it to DC. As you can tell in the Oster 76 or A5. Um, so it got a fan in here to keep it cool because it's more powerful because electricity is going through the field. Here's a lobby. You can tell this is DC because it's magnetic and it has no fans. Now some motors magnetic have fans um, like this one I think I think it has a fan maybe not but it does have a place to keep it cooled and that goes in this clipper see it's battery powered DC so there's a PC board that converts the batteries to run this motor sorry guys that was the door uh, Let's go ahead and pop this uh, armature out of here. Broken clipper. But see guys, that gets built up inside. That's a perfect example. Uh, that's the field. It has hair, black stuff, carbon, anything it could suck in. Um, here's the armature. So we go through, we look at the commutator. It's uh, worn down pretty good. Uh, still a little bit of life um, But see then um, Here's the fan and it cools the field as it spins This has juice through it. So it's more powerful than a magnetic motor. These are still uh, Powerful enough um, They're just this will drive a rusted blade. Um, I don't recommend it, but uh, usually Barbers use 76s because they're slower, powerful, and um, the faster your blade moves is the friction causes friction heat, and then the heat travels to the motor or the frame or the case, and it heats up your clipper. So if you think your clipper's getting hot, the first thing to do is pop off the blade and run it for like 30 minutes. It should get warm, but not like so hot you can't touch it um, that's bad once it's overheated it's overheated forever um, until you replace the armature uh, what happens is there's little copper wires in there to these posts and then they're wound around each of these plates and um, so what happens is it gets so hot and then there's plastic coating over these wires then they start shorting these posts together because the plastic melts off the wires. So then it arcs and it catches the brush on fire and it'll burn this and eat your brushes and get extremely hot. There's other ways it can get hot if it just has hair in it uh, and it's covered in all these little holes for vents. If it has hair in it, um, then this doesn't cool well. Look at all that the residue in there. You want to get rid of that. Um, that's carbon buildup, and it it holds heat like a jacket does to a human. Um, put a scarf on, and it'll hold your heat in to your body because um, a lot of heat escapes from your neck. Um, but yeah, so. This is a SMC. Uh, you can see these two wires. I could hook an actual battery up to these. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can, and this will run uh, if it's a big enough battery because it's DC powered. Okay? So, usually DC powered has a PC board that converts it to 
from AC to DC. This one just is a digital display and runs the clipper. Uh, that transformers in the actual the, the actual plug that charges. So this converts AC to DC to the clipper. Um, so yeah, so um, carbon is like a, a wire that gets worn down that runs on this. See, it runs on both sides of this to spin it. Okay, so when carbon gets in between these cracks, these posts will always will also short together and if it burns and shorts together then it will always get hot and some armatures they get so hot this shaft bends down the middle not very much but enough to where it goes uh, vibrates the clipper and it'll get hot because it's not running smoothly um, so the best thing to do is get these service every three to six months because not only do I check everything, like the hinge that holds the blade, the lever that moves the blade, I check the housings. Look at this housing. So I could put a new lever on this, and look at that. That's not going to work. And I check posts here, I check gears, I check brushes, I check cords, I check switches. Um, I check everything on your clipper, and that's what you're paying for is a, a good diagnostic so your clipper runs at 100%. Um, if you have a bad hinge and your blade, see how I can pick that up with my fingers? That's bad. Um, well, then your blade's not going to stay down and it'll disengage while you're grooming or barbering. And it'll disengage and it'll stop moving. And then you think, well, my blade's junk. Well, no, it's just disengaging. It needs to be engaged fully to for this lever to get inside the blade the best. I mean, this is a different blade, but... Uh, so... Yeah, it goes in there. Let me show you. So here's a blade. See the lever moves. Moves this blade in here. This is a junk blade, but it moves it. So if your blade has too much friction, it's going to cause this blade to heat up, and then it's going to heat up the... Uh, or heat up the clipper, not heat, sorry. Uh, heat, heat up the clipper. Um because heat transfers okay rub your hands together watch my clipper blade video and your hands will get extremely warm so not only see even a magnetic uh one without a, a motor without a fan gets hair in it okay see you need to clean that out if that never gets cleaned out it just runs with this and uh, you can see there's some wear and tear on the edges of this where it's rubbing carbon or hair um, and that will cause more heat um, so yeah clippers they do get warm they shouldn't get extremely hot that's for sure this is a lobby um, so basically I can hook up batteries to these two posts because this is DC um, now DC are generally faster AC is usually stronger uh, but you know you should still oil your blades on all these clippers um, now if you run the clipper without a blade and it doesn't get hot then you know your blade needs to be sharpened it needs to be oiled or the tension is too tight but don't mess with the tension let your sharpener mess with that and if it comes back with too many pounds of pressure and it's still getting extremely hot well I mean you either got to swap out blades or find a new sharpener I don't know what to tell you um, yeah this one's too tight this is probably five pounds of pressure that's a lot to me um, I like to keep it between two and four four at the max um, but yeah so um, get your clipper service and uh, they won't get hot uh, we don't want that carbon in there we don't want that hair in there and once again you're not paying me to change parts you're paying me to diagnose your, diagnose your clipper perfectly and uh, get it running the first time. Um, now people try to save money and do it themselves, but if you don't, if you know how to do it, awesome. I want you to fix your own clippers. Um, but if you don't, don't do it. If if you have any questions, I wouldn't get into this. 
Because once you get so far, you're stuck in it, and then you don't have a clipper. Um, once again, anyone can change parts, but to diagnose your clipper takes a technician. Um, so send it on to me, and I'll take care of it if you can. If you can, awesome. Watch my video, subscribe, uh, have a good time. Uh, keep these clippers running, guys. Uh, the first thing you know when your clipper is bad is when it leaves lines. If your clipper leaves lines, it needs to be serviced. Something has play in it. The link, lever, the post, something. Maybe this bushing is wearing out. Um, something's wrong with your clipper. It should never leave lines. So if you just got your blade sharpened and then you get it back and you put it on your clipper and you didn't get your clipper serviced and it leaves lines, you already know it's your clipper. So just go ahead and pay more shipping and send the clipper. Um, Alright, well, thank you for this wonderful adventure. It was uh, so much fun, and I had a wonderful time, and I hope you guys did too. Um, please subscribe, uh, and oh, one more. This is a brushless motor, and um, even eventually these will need maintenance. They'll need bearings at some time. But yeah, this is a brushless motor, just so you know. Uh, basically, um, yeah, it's brushless so it doesn't take brushes so when these go out you just replace the motor or the bearings I don't think you can replace the bearings I think you just gotta buy the whole new motor this is a, a wall KM10 brushless motor a pretty cool little motor um, but like I said even these uh, these uh, bearings get uh, dried out and they'll need oil at some point um, Alright, well, see y'all later. Bye.